Hello everyone. My name is Tishita Jamdagni and today we will be reading Titchy Witch and a Disappearing Baby. So, let's start. So first, I'll tell you the characters in the story. So, the main character is Titchy Witch. Then, she has a vulture whose name is Victor and a spider named Eric. Then Titchy Witch's parents are Witchy Witch and Wendell. And she has a young sister named Weenie Witch. And there is also a character named Catabogus. He is Titchy Witch's mother's cat. So let's start. Titchy Witch was a happy little witch while the baby was inside mum's tummy. But then one day Weenie Witch came out. It was magic but not the kind of magic Titchy Witch liked. Being a Titchy Big Sister was no fun at all. Titchy Witch didn't think of Weenie Witches. They made too much work and too much noise. And terrible Weenie Witchy smells. Pongy. Titchy Witch wanted Mum to play with her and feed her mashed beetles and banana and cuddle her and sing. This little witch went to hunting. But now, Witchy Witch was always busy with the baby. And they were always visitors standing round the cradle, oohing and ahing. Isn't she bewitching? They said. Oh, yes, said the Witchy Witch. Oh, yuck, said the Titchy Witch. Filled little nose, evil little eyes. When Titchy Witch went to find Dad, he was busy too. When was always in his workshop. Testing spells for his new book. Even Mum's cat, Catabogus, was too busy with Weenie Witch business. He twitched his tail and disappeared. Titchy Witch tried to disappear too, but she wasn't very good at spells yet. Sometimes she practiced on Victor or Eric. Luckily, her spells didn't last very long. One day, the baby was crying, even more than usual. Mum said she was getting a new fang. When Mum went for a rest, she left Titchy Witch to watch the baby. The noise was giving her a headache. Titchy Witch peeped into the cradle. Her nose began to twitch. Her fingers began to wiggle. Suddenly, a spell popped into her head and the magic words just popped out. Fizzy fuzzy rabbit's ear, make this baby disappear. It was quiet now. Weenie Witch hadn't exactly disappeared, but the bit that was crying had. Titchy Witch looked for the baby's head, but she couldn't find it anywhere. Just then, along came more trouble. Catapogus thought he was the boss of the house. He twitched his tail crossly. What's going on? he asked. Titchy Witch was thinking up a good story. But the cat said, I don't want no taradillies. So Titchy Witch told the truth. It was only a little spell. The cat growled. Little witches and little spells usually added up to big trouble. And who will have to put it right, he asked. You will, said Titchy Witch sadly. She hoped the cat would put it right. Now, this minute. She didn't like having a baby sister without a head. Catapogus knew lots of magic and he liked to show off. He stretched his very tall and purred something magic. And the magic words under his breath. Arrogant, tarragon, sim salabim. Teeny Witch's head reappeared and she wasn't crying now. In fact, she seemed to have enjoyed her trip. When the baby looked at her and gurgled, it gave Titty, Titty Witch a nice feeling in her tummy, like tiny bats flying about inside. No, she thought, Weenie Witch sisters aren't so bad after all. So that was the end. Thank you so much.